Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and welcome. So today I am doing another look and I have put on my Instagram, what would people rather see? A quick look or a glam look? And everyone vote a glam look. So I done this little number today. And if you wanna find out how I done it, please keep watching. And before we get started, please hit that subscription button down below and hit thumbs up if you want me to do more makeup looks for you guys. Cause I'd love to do anything you guys would like. I'm enjoying the funny part of my things, like the crazy stuff, but I do love makeup. I can't shy away from that. And I do enjoy trying to put looks together for you. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so to start off, let's just clip this hair back. It's got a lot of it. And I had recently done my hair, so it is crazy at my, you know, whatever this thing, part thing. Yeah. And also, on top of having all this, wham, I'm turning pink. So I have my little beauty sponge thing. And I am going to go in with, I have Lancome Ultra Wear in the shade Beige Porcelain. Ooh. I got a travel size. I swear I don't use it, it lasts a while. And then just dab it everywhere on my face. Just dab, 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 So who's been enjoying the sunshine here in the UK? Oh my God, we have been blessed beyond measure with this weather. And it was really hot today. Like I even wore a tank top. Yeah. And I did not need no coat or jacket or little cardigan. And do not forget to go down your neck. Oh, my skin has been taking a complete beating this week. Again. It's like it's finally getting under control and then BAM! I misuse it and mistreat it and not use the stuff that I like. But it happens. It's life. Now, I am going to go in with my brows. They are kind of done from this morning. Because I only went out with eyebrows today. When we went out shopping, get these. And just very light strokes. I'm using just the PS Primark brow thingy. Everything's thingy to me. I need to grow my eyebrows so badly. You keep saying like, oh, when you thread them, They'll get better. No, you have to shape them quite well, but they still thin as heck. So any suggestions other than castor oil, because that didn't work for me very well, let me know. Right, now that I've done my brows, I am going to go in with my stay all, stay all day bronzer and face body contour bronzer from Stila. And I do like this stuff. And if I can find my little thing. I do use a bigger brush on this because it's more of just bronzing like the sides of my face and underneath. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush. That one. Just go in there. Tap it off. And light circle motions. Through there. Down. And up. I will say now, I am in no way a makeup artist. I went to cosmetology school. I started makeup classes. I think I've said that in one of my videos. I can't remember which one. And life just got in the way. I love makeup. I've been doing it since I was 11 years old. So that's a long time. But I'm not a makeup artist. I am no way perfect in the way I put my makeup on. I just know what works for me. So, I do clean it up a bit. That is a scar 
there. Put that, that right on my temples just to. And then I go there and there. I always save highlight for last. So I'm going to go in with my, again, in the box single uh, Benefit Beauty Rocketer blush that's in this thing and I took everything out of it so it's literally just that whole box in there is just for that little thing. I'm gonna take my little precision brush from Jeffree Star and Morphe and get that in there. Does that and just on my temples. Alright so for today's look I am going for almost like halo look. I wanted to like match a bit of the colors on my dress so I am using Manny MUA's um, Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag Palette, which if you've seen my makeup palette collection, which if you haven't, I'll leave a link down below for it. I did say the last time when I was showing this off that I have not used it well. I started playing around with it. And I've used Sickening, Hunty, Mug and Beat, and honestly, they are really good. Like, really good, They're really creamy, really, just really nice, and blend really well. All right, but today, I am going for, like I said, more colors in here, and it does have a turquoise in there, so perfectly, I'm going to be using a turquoise color here called Kiki. But first off, of course, I need a transitioning color, because it just helps, and I'm going to be using Sickening. Stop that in there, and I'm just using the brush from the thing. I'm just gonna sweep that across. Bring it up a bit, almost to my brow bone. Now I'm going to go straight in with Kiki. And I'm gonna use like the more precision side of it. And oh, oh. <laughs> And I'm gonna start off on the corner and just start there. I almost make like it up over, just a bit over brow bone. See right there? And almost like a triangle. Because the way I wear my makeup is triangle eyes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm, why is it turning more green on my face? Yeah, it's more green. Huh. Don't know if I like that. I'll just keep trying to apply it on and maybe I'll wet the brush. But for now, I'm gonna go now into the inner corner to make that halo look. On the eyelid and then just a bit. But just so like, when it goes like that in the eye, it looks like it's lining up. See what I mean? Kinda, sorta, maybe. Yeah. There's the green. It's definitely not proper to work. It's not what it is on the pan. No. But I'm going to make it work somehow. So let's go on over to the other eye and do that way. I'm a bit disappointed. I'm sorry. Right, since that did not come out how I wanted it. I mean, it's a pretty color, don't get me wrong. But it's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to pop. I want to be like, bam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with both Fishy. <laughs> going to go in with Fishy. And we're just going to try to make this pop. A bit. And right on the inside. Do it there too, but leave enough so when the shimmer color comes in, it's not too crazy. Alright, so that's 
of it so far. Now I am going to get, I am going to use my blended thing and use the more precision side to go in with, let's go legendary. I'm going to mix legendary and beat, which are these two shimmer shades and put them in. Ooh, it's nice goldy color. You can't really tell. Ooh. And I'm just going to put it right in the center. And then right at the top. And then let's blend. Let's blend that. Let's blend that. Let's blend, blend, blend. We're gonna blend, 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 blend. We're gonna blend, 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 blend. That Kiki ain't doing nothing for me. That Kiki ain't doing nothing. That gold, however, legendary. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. Let's see. Here we go. We're going with my Urban Decay Through the Looking Glass palette. And we are going to go... Oh, my God! <sighs> Heads will roll, which is that one, and it has a bit of a thing. It's very well loved, and again, in my, my palette video, my son got a hold of it. <laughs> I'm gonna use that and see how that gets on. Much better. And then just to complete it, a little bit of a over. And like a connect the dot moment. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a lot better. So I have some red where that blue was originally and just put it out between, just very lightly. I'm gonna use Salazan Grum which is that red color. And the same thing that I done with the blue. Okay. And blend, 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 blend. Let's blend it, let's blend it, let's blend it. Oh yeah. And now, I look like a crazy person, but this is why I leave concealer to last so I could, you know, that. So, take that. And I am going to be using Revolution Conceal and Defi Define. Oh my god. Define. C3. Yeah. C3. And then I'm just going to lightly, by the corner of my eye, swipe up. And then do my little triangle thingy. Doop, doop. And same as the other side. As close to the eyeball as possible. And then swipe up. And it leaves that crisp thingy there. So it's Mother's Day tomorrow. Yay! And I'm doing this whole face of makeup. I'm gonna work <laughs> again but it's Mother's Day and this will be this will be the 10th year I'm not with my mom on Mother's Day just like a lot of mothers and daughters they've we've had our problems growing up on me being a rebellious teen we fought like cat and mouse but I love her and I'm glad she's in a better place herself, she's, um, happy wise. I am going to use this little pot of Laura Mercier to set under my eyes and dab there. Honestly, I've, I've never seen her as happy as I have done the last couple years. Um, how old? So about five years now. I won't go too much into why or the dynamics of the family and that but it's quite sad it would be nice to spend a mother's day with her especially now i've got the kids but 
That's what Justin's does, unfortunately. And that's what immigration does when I'm American and my whole family's American and my husband ain't. He's British. So, we're just gonna leave that there for a bit. It is not a lot. <laughs> and soak in. So yeah, one of the hardest things was leaving my family. Um, especially when it comes up to events like this where it's Mother's Day. Like even my sister, she's a mom now. And she's got two kids. And my other siblings have kids. And not being able to like do this stuff with them, it sucks. It sucks. Uh, we know, you know, you gotta grow up. You gotta have your own family. You gotta do this, that, and everything else. But, yeah. But also, it's not Mother's Day over in America either. It's only here in England. So, <laughs> got a couple months to get her something because I was just thinking I didn't get her a card yet. Here I am saying I want to spend Mother's Day with her and I didn't even get her a card. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing it's not until like May or something like that. June. Near June. Yeah. Let's just brush that off quickly. Don't kick my face. Right, so I am going to do my eyeliner and my eyelashes off camera and I will be right back. Okay, I just completely stabbed my eye trying to get freaking fake lashes on. This is why I don't wear them, but this is why I need to keep practicing. So I just put some uh, Maybelline Go Extreme Volume Mascara on. And I also use Maybelline New York gel liner on just the top of my eyes. Now we're going to do the under eyes and put some uh, <laughs> put some highlighter on and we gonna be done. So I just realized that by watching back one of my stories from Instagram and if you haven't followed me yet on there it's life.with.courtney. Um, I say so a lot. A lot. So we are going back. <laughs> <laughs> we are going back with Heads Will Roll, that beautiful turquoise, turquoise color with my little smudger boss. And we are going under, or we, we? Yeah, well, if you're doing this too, we are going under my eye. Uh, and we are just gonna lightly smudge that into the lash line. God, I make some really crazy faces. Just there, and then there. Bring up a little bit there. And we're doing the other side. And voila. We got turquoise eyes, people. Turquoise eyes. I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna use just a charcoal pencil and go in the lash line. On the bottom. And then other side. And that people it's our eyes so we got our last most exciting part to do which is some highlight and we are gonna use Jeffree Star's ice cold skin frost and I'm gonna use just his little highlighter brush from Morphe dip it in there and a bit more and just right on the cheekbones <laughs> And I like to go just above the brow bone and make a little V with it. I'm shining. No filter needed. <laughs> now, since it's quite a bold dark color let's go for a bold lip <laughs> so I'm gonna use Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Queen B and that people is that give the hair a little shake you know, look like a crazy person. 
I really wish I got those eyelashes to work because I do think they would just make my eyes pop a bit more. And there we go. Glam look. Thank you. I can't thank you guys enough for watching. Uh, this is, I think this is my second look. Makeup look. And again, I am not a makeup artist. I am no professional. I just know what looks a bit decent on my face. And if you don't agree, let me know if I could do something better. Please don't be too nasty though. <laughs> and yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't just yet, please give a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and hit that subscription button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss any one of my videos. And until next time, have a good one.